Welcome. In front of me is a Nokia 5.1 and today I will show you how to bypass the Google verification screen. So as you can see, the device in front of me is already locked and uh, to bypass it, we will need to go back to the first page and make sure you're connected to the network before you start. So go back to the first page and uh, we're gonna change the language. So choose Khmer. I'm not sure if that's how it's pronounced, but it's basically this one. The one that's selected right now. So select it and then go as you would through the process of setup. So I'm just gonna skip most of it. Now mind you, I have a previous update uh, for the security. So that's why I'm doing it this way. Yours might be a little bit newer. If this method doesn't work for you, you can check out uh, on the website the other method. Maybe the, the other one should work if this one didn't. So once you are on a Google verification screen, as we are right now, but in a different language, you can just tap here as you would want to fill it out, but this time hold the space bar. And will basically take you to the settings of like languages. So instead of choosing between English and uh, the other one, choose the blue one right here. And from here, tap on the pencil. Actually, wait, no, pencil, what am I saying? Um, let's choose the language. So just tapped on it, as you can see. And then I'll add three dots up here and the second option. And from here, we'll be in the help section. So choose about switch access for Android and you will get a video. That's why we needed the network connection. So if you tap on it, it will load it and you'll see the clock icon right here, right above my fingernail. So once you tap on it, it will take you to the web browser. So just accept, no thanks. And from here, we want to search for a field, type in hard reset. Now, as you can see, we're back in the, the other language. So just hold spacebar once more and select the other option, which should be English. As you can see it now, change to English. So let's go to hard reset.info. That info, like so. And from here, tap on that three bars up here. You can see. And one of the options is, is the download. So click on download. And then the search field. Let me just close this ad. Yeah. So I download search field. Search for Android 8. Android 8, as you can see search for it and basically the first thing we'll see is the FRP bypass so you will have a download right here and once more you need to scroll down and select download right here stop on it continue and here we need to allow the access and it's always the option on the right so it's this thing and then tap on download and OK. And once it's downloaded, click on Open. And again, uh, basically, we need to enable unknown sources. So tap on this button right here. And just flip this on and go back. And now we will be able to install, which again is the option on the right. Primarily, everything on the right is confirming, while the one on the left is always denying. And once it's installed, as it's right now, you wanna open it, which again is the option on the right. And we're now in the app itself. So from here, we want to tap on Google Account Management APK install. So I'll click on it and then choose for version 6.0. And again, the option on the right, allow on sources, go back, and we can now install it. Now this time we, I don't think we will be able to open it and all we need to do is just click on done, just the one on the left side. 
and we're back in the FRP bypass app. And this time we want to just tap on bypass FRP and then choose browser sign in. And from here, uh, tap on the three that's up here and then choose browser sign in again. That's the only option you have and confirm. And from here, we're gonna use the Google account that we wish to use. So I'm gonna use mine, which is hard reset. Now, if you don't have an account, you can always create one somewhere on your computer or on a different device and then use it to log on here or use your existing one. So tap on next and then I need to put in the password, so let me do that off the screen. Then again, tap on the uh, only button right there. And we're back in the FRP bypass. And basically now all we need to do is restart the device. So hold the power key and then choose reboot, which is the below option. Okay, so from here, again, let's choose a language. Now this time we can already choose English. It doesn't matter anymore. So English. And from here, let's go to the setup. Now, all we need to do is just skip through it. Uh, we're gonna perform a hard reset of the device uh, once we get the access to the home screen anyway. So don't copy. And we should now be somewhere near the end, so. Okay, as you can see, now we're in the home screen. Just let it, give it a moment for it to load. And uh, from here, pull the notification panel and go into the settings and scroll all the way down into system, then go into advanced and reset options and choose erase all data factory reset and as you can see there is apparently a, a account already which is the one that we have put in just uh, before the reset uh, or reboot i shall say and uh, it will not affect the reset it will not um, force us to put any other google account it will just give us the option to basically pass it like there is no previous account so Tap on reset phone and then erase everything and let the process begin. Now, it might take a little bit, so just be patient and I'll be back once we're back in the setup screen. Okay, now as you can see, now the process is finished and we can set up the device as we like. So again, choose the language. Gonna select English. Let's go. And now you can set up your device as, as ever you like. Um, I'm not gonna connect to the Wi-Fi considering the fact that it's gonna start looking for updates and it's just gonna take a little bit too long. 
And the only difference is the fact that I will be able to connect to Google. So I will be able to log in with the Google and, uh, and immediately be able to use uh, Play Store once I'm done. Now you can add fingerprint and uh, set up some kind of protection uh, if you like. And as you can see, we're basically now fully unlocked and the process is fully finished. So that is how you would bypass the Google verification screen on the Nokia 5.1. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.